Hey everyone, Matt Martin with Outdoor Designs here. <clears throat> a little different project going on today, thought I would show off. Um, I'm actually injecting trees. Um, what I'm injecting for is the emerald ash borer. Uh, so this particular call, emerald ash borers, if you're not aware, uh, at least in, in East Tennessee, uh, in the northern Midwest and eastern part of the United States, uh, they're disappearing at an alarming rate, uh, the ash trees. And it's the emerald ash borer that's the culprit. Um, the problem is they actually bore their way, drop their eggs into um, the transport tissue inside the tree. So if you were actually to peel away the bark in, in an infected tree, you would see where the larva has moved in the xylem and flow and tissue to disrupt uh, flow of nutrients up, up, to the, the, up to the leaves of the tree and back down to the roots of the tree. And, you know, small infestations are going to cause just a little bit of damage. Large infestations are going to cause a lot of damage. Um, these particular ash trees are very established. Um, you know, they've got some ivy growing on them. Not in perfect health, but for the most part, they're doing pretty good. Uh, you can see, you know, they're, they're 40, 50 feet tall. So, anyway, here's kind of the premise of, of how injecting a tree works and then I will actually inject one to show you uh, how it works. Um, so I'm using uh, the Mojé uh, capsules and what I do is you know you try and locate uh, you know buttress flares on the tree these root flares right here buttress roots and then you're going to drill in about one inch into the tree you're going to pressurize this capsule insert the feeder tube and then knock it together and then the, the pressure created from squeezing uh, this capsule uh, actually forces uh, a material into the uh, vascular tissue of the tree uh, to send it throughout it. Uh, the particular product I'm using uh, by Moje is uh, emicide, the active ingredient in that is imidacloprid. Uh, the nice thing about using injection technology, micro-injection technology like this, is that there's little to zero environmental exposure uh, to uh, pesticide because it's going directly into the tree. Uh, it, you're not doing a, a foliar application where you're just out spraying and you know creating a lot of mist, a lot of drift. Uh, so it's very pointed, very targeted. It's actually going into uh, the vascular tissue of the tree, nowhere else. Now, that being said, uh, let's go ahead and inject one and show you the process. Um, so I'm going to inject this big one over here that has lost a little bit of foliage at the top and uh, be doing a little better. Um, I've injected eight trees on this property so far. Um, so I'm just going to put a couple more fertilizer injections into this tree. Um, I will show you what it looks like. It's kind of interesting here. Um, the yellow capsules are the material for the emerald ash borer. The green are, is for fertilizer. So that kind of shows you the process there. And then let's actually get one done so I can show you what's entailed in the process. Well, I need some. I need feeder tubes in order to be able to show you. All right, got my feeder tubes. Let's go drill a hole in this tree and clump it full of goodness. So this is my second year doing injections and I've been super impressed with uh, the results. Um, already this year, I've done a couple of oak trees that were 
struggling to leaf out after the winter. Um, and uh, this Moje product I use as far as for fertility is called Stemix, S-T-E-M-I-X, Stemix. And it's relatively low analysis. Um, so the analysis on this is a 111, that's nitrogen to phosphorus to potash. Um, and then it's also got micronutrients in it. So we're talking about uh, calcium, copper, iron, manganese, magnesium, uh, and zinc. Uh, so if you're familiar with ever putting, uh, we'll say, uh, magnesium sulfate on a lawn, Epsom salt, Epsom salt will turn a lawn extremely green really quickly. Um, uh, uh, magnesium and manganese and iron all play a pivotal role in the development of chlorophyll, which ultimately influences the green color of a plant. So, <clears throat> if you have ample amounts of that, you're going to produce really dark green leaves. Uh, and and the, the premise behind a tree having a full canopy is that the, the, the more leaf surface uh the more dense the the leaf the, the canopy is of the tree um the more photosynthesis that's going to take place the more uh, food simple sugars are going to be produced uh, that ultimately go to the root system to create a healthier root system so you want your trees to have as many leaves as possible for as long of a period of time as possible because that's more food that's being created for that tree um, so here is going to be the process. Let me make sure you can see this here. Um, so you can see I've got a nice root flare right here. Um, I've targeted these areas. Uh, I've got the emicide, emicide, and a stemic uh, capsule here. And I'm kind of following up the tree where this material is running along this way. Uh, we've got this one. It's going along here. So... I'm going to target this one. This is, uh, you see this valley right here? This valley is not going to be a good place to inject. Uh, so there's not going to be a lot of material that's running back and forth right here. So therefore, you know, this section of the tree, not looking too good. Over in here is going to be looking better. Um, so I'm going to put this one about right here. So here's the process. I'm going to drill in, let's see if you can see this, that's about a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch, a little further, there we go, that's about a full inch into the tree, and then I've got my capsule here, and I'm going to push this capsule, it's hard to do with one hand, let me, let me try it another way. That's not going to work. Here we go. I'm going to push this capsule in. Boom, like that. And it pushed in. It locked. Okay. So we'll take this feeder tube and insert it in the hole. You'll see a little notch there. Now it's not perfectly round. You want that, that flat piece pointed upward. And... We will insert that into the tree like this. And then we get something to tap this on here with. And then we will take the capsule like so. And then we're just going to tap it on there. Well, I did not get it on there. Let me start it by pushing it. I'm just going to tap it into that hole we drilled. And then if you can see the liquid is starting to fill that tube. And uh, it's going to take this tree, oh, probably about 15 minutes to pull up this material here. Uh, this one, this Stemix capsule here, 
I injected about 20 minutes ago. You can see there's just a, a little bit left drop-wise. Um, these capsules that contain MSI, and MSI is a very thick product, so it's going to take several hours uh, for it to um, take up all this material. So uh, I'm going to let it sit for the majority of the day and, uh, and then collect them uh, tonight. So anyway, just wanted to show you another aspect of caring for plants that uh, this isn't uh, super, super common. There's not a lot of people that, that do tree injections, um, but it's a very, very effective tree to target, uh, effective way to target nutrients or insecticides or fungicides or uh, bactericides directly into the tree to target uh, particular issues without having to create a uh, risk to the environment. So anyway, Matt Martin Outdoor Designs, that is injecting a tree uh, with uh, using micro-injection. Thank you.